clear so here we have one more kind of problem here the same that is find the current in branch ab in the network shown using node analysis so here so this is one problem here you can refer it down so here we have one more kind of problem that is uh, find the current in branch ab in the network using node analysis so here we have this circuit here okay of node analysis we have here in this case we have one two and three nodes here okay so this is node a node b node c for node a mark the three branch current since this is meeting three branches here you can see so i1 i2 i3 similarly for node b three branches are meeting at node b i4 i5 i6 and node c also we have three branches but here in this case we don't have any register in this case so this is not a valid branch so that's why these two branches meet at node c i7 and i8 okay then the same thing again apply kcl on node a i1 plus i2 plus i3 equal to 0 find the value of i1 that is from this point to this point one branch that is va minus vc divided by 10 okay like that you should be finding the values of i1 i2 i3 so here i have directly found it you can check it out later how it is like this i have written it solve this equation separated all the voltages and written all the coefficients separately then grouped all the coefficients of va and vb and vc then named it as one equation equation one similarly apply kcl on node b that is node b in the circuit which i have already told the currents are i4 i5 i6 substitute the value of i4 i5 i6 solve it and this will be getting one more equation here name it as equation 2 similarly solve for kcl for node c we have only two currents i7 and i8 substitute the values then write split all the coefficients and write it like this then put in the calculator since here we have three node voltages so in the calculator while doing you should be pressing equation 5 number 5 then number 2 then storing all the coefficients so that we will be getting these three volt node voltages va vb vc okay but we have one more super node equation in this case whenever we have one branch without a resistance that node this whole branch is called super node okay how we had super mesh concept in mesh analysis similarly this is the super node concept that is whenever we have one branch without any resistance that branch is called as super node for that we are writing here the super node equation that is vc minus 80 the outward sign minus 0 that is the last point here we have grounded right so this is 0 so this is the super node equation and from this super node equation we would be getting directly the value of vc as 80 volt okay but if you want here also while solving the equation we would be getting 80 volt only but here in this case they have told us to find the current in branch AB, right? That is I of AB. So that's why I of AB is what? VA minus VB divided by resistance that is 60 ohm, right? So that's why VA, VB substituted divided by 60. So this is the branch current in this case we get that is 0 0.696. So hope this is clear. So let's solve uh, and hope the super node concept is also very clear. Not uh, if you know the mesh analysis, this node voltage analysis is very easy. Just the reverse process, apply the KCL and do solve the problems. Okay, very easy. So uh, I'm I'm going to do this in one single session only. I won't be taking much time. So again, we are so, uh, let us see two more problems and uh, wind this module. Okay. So this is that uh, next problem. Determine the node voltages V1, V2, V3, and V4 using node analysis. We should be determining the node voltages V1, V2, V3, V4 in this case using node analysis. So this is the circuit here given. First analyze the circuit and identify whether we have a super node or not. In this case these are the four nodes 1, 2, 3, 4. If you observe carefully we are having two super nodes that is from 1 to 3 we have one super node because we don't have any resistance here. So this would be one super node. From 2 to ground here we have one more super node so we have two super nodes. So that's why write super nodes equation first. Write super node equation 1 that is V1 minus 5 minus V3 equal to 0. 
So V1 is equal to this both terms bring it if you bring it to other side it would be 5 plus V3 that is your name it as equation 1. Similarly we have second super node that is V2 outward sign minus 5 minus 0 equal to 0 so 5 if you bring it to other side it would be V2 equal to 5 volt. Okay like this we got then apply KCL on super node 1 and 3 that is 1 comma 3 here we have we should be applying the KCL here that is I1, I2 and I3 because if this, because this is a super node so in order to write the super node equation these two would be merging together and whatever the currents we have in these two nodes right that we should be writing it together in order to write the super node in order to apply the KCL on super node so this, that's why I have told you this kind of problem okay that is I1 plus I2 plus I3 equal to 0. We have three currents between these two nodes that is I1, I2 and I3. Consider all three of them. Okay. So that is I1 we have V1 uh, that is uh, V1 minus V2 divided by 10 and I2 here we can see that I2 in this branch we have already one current source so that's why we can directly write it as 2 ampere. Then I3 is equal to V3 minus 0 since this is connected to ground divided by 2 substitute those values write one equation like this name it as equation 2 then apply KCL on node 4 that is this node so the, which uh, in this node has three branches meeting together that is I4 I5 I6 but here in this case now the value of I5 would be minus 2 ampere because these two have opposite directions right so that's why here I5 would be equal to minus 2 I4 is equal to v4 minus 0 divided by 2 that is v4 by 2 v4 minus v2 by 5 sorry v4 minus v2 by 5 okay since this i4 branch is starting from this point so that's why this minus this starting point minus ending point okay minus v2 then i6 is v4 by 2 then solve this and here we would be getting like this the value but here in this case we have the value of v2 as 5 volt because we have proved it here right v2 is equal to 5 volt substitute that solve it then we would be getting the solve it for v4 we would be getting the value of v4 okay that is 4.28 volt so like this we have got v2 as well as v4 now solving equation 2 that is whatever we wrote here equation 2 right in that try to solve it by substituting the value of v2 solve it and here we would be getting one more equation that is v1 into 1 by 10 plus v3 into 1 by 2 is equal to minus 3 by 2 name it as equation 3 now we have two equ equations that is sorry we have only one this single equation for this now we should be finding v1 and v3 again put this value in the calculator and try to find the roots of this equation okay after that we would be getting the values of v1 and v3 that is 5 by 3 that is equal to 1.66 volt v3 is minus 10 by 3 that is minus 3.33 volt like this we got the values of v1 v2 v3 as well as v4 okay like this you should be solving this problem so now let's see one last problem of this module that is related to dependent source okay node voltages find the node voltages VA, VB, VC and VD using node analysis here in this problem we are having two of the dependent sources okay but here in this case also we are having two super nodes these are the four nodes here A, B, C, D we have two super nodes here one is from A to D we don't have any resistance and one is from B to this ground point here okay this also is one super node two super nodes and the value of I1 here since this is a vo current controlled voltage source and this current I1 is flowing through which branch here? Ah, here we can see that they would be giving you which this dependent current I1 is flowing in which branch they would be giving you. Okay so that I1 is equal to VB minus VC divided by resistor 2. Substitute the value of I1. Then here we have one current voltage controlled current source and the value of this voltage the VC we should be finding that. Before that, write the super node equation VA minus 6I1 minus VD equal to 0. Okay. That is for this equation. VA, this is one voltage source, so that's why minus out, outward sign minus 6I1 minus VD equal to 0. That is one super node equation. Name it as equation 1. Super node at B, that is VB minus 8 
and 0 equal to 0. So if you solve this, you would be getting the value of Vb as 8 volt. Okay, so one voltage we have got. Now consider equation 1, that is whatever we wrote here. In this now, Va minus 6 into the value of I1 which I have already sub, uh, written here. Okay, that you should be substituting here. That is Vb minus Vc by 2 minus Vd equal to 0. And here in this case, substitute the value of Vb here, that is 8 volt. So solve it and here we would be getting one more equation like this that is VA is equal to VD minus 3VC plus 24. Okay, that you name it as equation 2. Now apply KCL at super node A comma D that is this is one super node right. For this you should be applying the KCL now. So what and all are the currents are there in these two nodes now I1, I2, I3, I4. We have four currents. So consider we should be considering all the four currents. I1 plus I2 plus I3 plus I4. Substitute all the values of I1, I2, I3, I4. Okay, by seeing the nodes and the voltages and resistances. Substitute it. Okay, and solve it like this. We would be getting one equation like this. Here in this case, so some of the substitutions we should be making here, that is Vb, you should be substituting it as 8 volt and solving. So here we would be getting one equation considering of Va, Vc and Vd. Keep it as equation 3. Now substitute equation 2 in equation 3 that is in place of VA we should be putting VD minus 3VC plus 24. So that's why here we would be left with only VC and VD terms in this equation. Okay. Solve it like this and we would be getting one more equation which consists of VC and VD terms along with the coefficient. Okay. See this again. See the steps again. Name it as equation 4. Now finally apply KCL at node C. That is this is node C and these are the three branch currents here I5, I6, I7. Okay, that is I5 plus I6 plus I7 equal to 0. Substitute the value of I5, I6 is minus 4 because we have already one current here, current source 4 ampere. But this is in opposite direction, this is coming downwards and this is going upwards. So that's why the value is minus 4. Then substitute I7, Vc minus Vd by 2. Solve it. Substitute the value of Vb as uh, 8 volt. Then uh, solve it. So we would be getting one more equation Vc minus Vd into 1 by 2 equal to 8. So now here we have two equations with Vc and Vd terms. Okay. Now nothing much to do. In order to find two node voltages, put in the calculator, press equation 5, then press 1, substitute the coefficients and we would be getting the values of Vc and Vd. Okay. When we get the values of Vc and Vd, in this equation now, equation 2, we already found Vb, Vc, Vd. But now we are left with to find VA. Already we have written this equation with the VC and VD terms. So substitute that VC and VD in that equation and get the value of VA. Okay. Like this you should be getting the value of VA, VB, VC and VD. Okay. Hope this problem is very clear. I have tried to explain it. Okay. So I have uh, con concluded this node analysis part in one single session. And uh, we have uh, come to an end of this module. So this in this module I've covered uh, uh, around uh, mostly all the topics and I've tried to cover it in a very detailed manner. Those who have not seen those videos, please see those videos. Module 1 is completed. Okay. So now from the next session we are going to start with module 2. And in module 2 also it is completely based on network theorems. Okay. This, that complete module is based on network theorems all we have uh, many kinds of theorems in that module and all those theorems related to that the different kinds of circuit and problems you are going to see okay very easy module you can understand it very quickly and I'm not taking much sessions for that module I'm, I'm going to try to cover th that module within seven to eight sessions okay very easy module so this was one tough module I've tried to cover it so please uh, refer the complete video, those who have not understand it, please refer our previous videos of network analysis which I have made. So like, share, subscribe to our channel guys, share this playlist to a huge number. Okay, thank you. All the best guys.